Welcome back to Dane's Lady Info. The main aim behind India showing so much interest and eagerness in the F414 engines of the General Electric is for the upcoming most awaited fighter jets. The most awaiting fighter jets which I am talking about here is the Tejas Mark II which is an upgraded version of the LCA Tejas. The next one is the AMCA Mark I and next one is the twin engine deck based fighter for the Indian Navy. Engine requirement for these fighters is estimated to cross or exceed 500 units over the next 15 to 20 years. Importing such a huge number of engines directly from the United States is not a good idea. So it's vital requirement to manufacture them in India locally. When India or any country decides to manufacture engines locally, they would be seeing two factors. First one is the transfer of technology and the second one is the indigenous content percentage. If Hindustan Aeronautics Limited starts manufacturing the F414 engines, once they get required license from the General Electric of the United States, the indigenous content percentage would increase slowly in phased manner until it touches 80%. Now coming to the transfer of technology, while Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will have the opportunity to manufacture the F414 engines locally with areas that will be covered under the transfer of technology, the General Electric will still retain the intellectual property rights of the engine. It is said that for each engine produced by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, they will require pre-approval from General Electric. Not only that, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is prohibited from making any unauthorized modifications to the engine. One good thing is that, if Hindustan Aeronautics Limited suggests any change for the engine in future, they need to collaborate with General Electric of the United States to carry out any enhancements or changes. According to me, none of the company will give 100% transfer of technology or rights on their product and that too when the product is a proven one and is in high demand. Not only that, I don't think Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has so much knowledge or expertise to make changes in General Electric F414 engines which are so reliable and powering so many fighters across the world. It is better Hindustan Aeronautics Limited collaborate with General Electric for any changes and enhancements. India needs to learn a lot before touching the F414 engine since we are yet to see a proper functioning Kaveri engine itself. The decision to manufacture the F414 engines locally is indeed a significant milestone for India. It would obviously boost the domestic manufacturing capabilities for Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So let's hope Hindustan Aeronautics Limited gets required permission and rights once India concludes the deal with the United States for the local manufacturing license for F414 in coming weeks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.